Here's a look at the runners and riders at four uh, this year's renewal. Number one is Mick Dam, who'll be ridden by Christoph Sumion. Two cash luck for Michael Freeman and Vlad Jurek. Three is Noor Zabil, Royston French, and we are without Barano, which means that Kinglet, the uh, 2000 Guinness winner, is next in the lineup for Mikhail Barcelona. Old Pal, then he moves down to Surfer, Matt Sullen, and Fiscal for Andrea Atsene and Majidar Johori. 11 is Energy Adust prepared. Ali Rashid Ryan Sylvester de Sousa spoil the fun for Christoph Fairland. We just saw that horse on the track a few moments ago. And Mary Fielders, the Stanmore, who uh, almost won the UAE Oaks last time. Made every yard of the running under James Dorr, but Tygo Shea in the play today from Gate. Old Pal's gone in now. Old Best Acuda, sponsored by Emirates. Second leg of the Triple Crown for three years old in the UAE. And of course, the main dress rehearsal for the Derby on World Cup night. And they're all in. Gates fly, racing. Mary Fildes on the outside came out awkwardly and prepared. Drop back shortly after the break. Kinglet 2 is going back shortly after the start. Mary Fildes picked herself up and she's going to reprise her role in the Oaks. She rolls to the lead on the turn out of the straight. Spoil the fun, goes up to be second, goes looking for the rail. Mick Darm is third on the fence. A length away Cash Luck and Counter Glow out wide as they go past the 1500 metres mark. Another length and a half to serve on the outside of Norza Beal. Two lengths to Fiscal, who's deep, followed by Energy at Dust. Old Pal, the red colours on the rail. A length and a half, two prepared. Matu Selen is second last, and King Let is a length away at the rear of the field as they left the first 400 behind in 26.6. And Mary Fildes takes them past the 1100 metres mark, leading by two lengths. So to spoil the fun, and they've raced eight in front of Counter Glow, who's going to third. Mick Dam is a neck away. He's running fourth on the rail. A length and a quarter to Surfer on the outside of Cash Luck. Fiscal still three deep as they go to the 850. Norzabil one away from the rail. Three quarters to Old Pal. Then Energy of Dust and prepared. Kinglet is second last. He's being ridden along. He's got a lot to do. Matusalen on his outside. Mary Fildes two in front going past the 600 metres peg. They ran 800 in 50.2 and 1200 in 114.9. And on the turn for Hunt. Mary Fildes in front. Spoil the fun comes to the outside. So does Mick Darm. So does Counter Glow. Surfer a length away and Cash Luck behind them. Mick Darn hit the front. 300 to go. Counter Glow's going after him. Surfer's moved to third and then spoil the fun. Mick Darm's in front. 150 left to run. Counter Glow's come to the end of it. Surfer's battling away, but Mick Darm promised to do more as he stepped up in trip and he's delivered. Mick Darm wins the Elbastic here. Surfer second, counter glow third, prepared fourth. Then spoiled the fun, cash luck. Kinglet got going late, was never a winning chance. Followed by Energy of Dust, Martou Selen, Norzabil, Mary Fildes got very weary, but finished in front of Old Pal and Fiscal. McDarm, written by Christoph Sumion, has won the old bastard here, has relished the step up to 1,900 metres, and now cements for himself a place amongst the favourite runners for the UAE Derby on Dubai World Cup night. Mick Dam, number one, Christoph Simeon is first. Number eight, Surfer. Maintains his crown as the best maiden in the country. He's run second, written by Richard Mullen, and Counter Glow is third, written by Frankie de Tori. One, eight and seven, prepared his fourth, spoiled the fun, fifth, and Cash Luck has run sixth, 1, 8, 7, 12, 13 and 2 after the Elbaster Kia sponsored by Emirates. Well, Kinglet got back but didn't do a great deal by comparison to his recent efforts, particularly his 2000 Guineas win. McDam raced on the fence in four spot. Frankie de Tori on counter glow and Christoph Simeon on McDarm were content to let the leading pair go. Mary Fildes and Spoil the Fun who chased and Spoil the Fun's done a good job to hang on and run fifth. They loomed up shortly after they turned for home. McDarm got to the front but looked as though he had a fight on his hand as counter glow loomed alongside. I think but counter glow has been found out by the trip and Surfer has battled on particularly well to take second at the end. Um, having his ninth start, he's still a maiden, but geez, run some good races. Counter Glow battling on for third. Prepared's made good ground. 
over the concluding stages, coming from back in the field to run fourth, spoil the fun, battling on for fifth after chasing Mary Fildes. And Cash Luck, too, has battled away, but Mick Darm, well, nothing can be taken away from him. Everything was made to suit the fence, the distance, the ride, and he has duly delivered. Mick Darm is by De Bowie from Rebo's Guest, a three years old, a bay colt, raced by Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa El Maktoum, trained by Mike de Kock, and written by Christoph Sumion. presentation now being made to the winning owner, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum, and that's Khalid Al Haddad, who's the district manager for Sharjah and the Northern Emirates of Emirates, and uh, he'll be giving the trophy to the winning uh, trainer and jockey. So a good win for Mike that's his ninth success, as I said, for the carnival, for his fourth win uh, in the Arbastakia. And I wonder where he would sort of put this, there is a man there. Jason, I wonder where he would put this with the likes of Asiatic Boy and Honor Devil with this Mick Dam. Do you think he'd be as good as those two? Um, it's interesting. This is the only one of his winners that's actually bred in the Northern Hemisphere. It's just a different type of horse. And he's always said, you know, it's tied to improve with time and distance. That has been the case so far, most definitely. And there's Christoph Sumion, late winner for him. Got some really nice rides later on on the card as well. I would imagine Mike and the owner are particularly pleased to have defended Asiatic Boys' only horse to have won the UAE Triple Crown record. 